Hey, it's Chris. Today we're gonna to be looking at a really cool brand new app from Apple called Freeform, which is a collaborative whiteboard style app for the iPad, Mac, and iPhone. Now Freeform sort of takes some of the best ideas from apps like Muse or Infinite Canvas, maybe some mood boarding apps, combines them all into one place and then makes everything collaborative. Now I've found that it's definitely the most useful on the iPad and that's because you can use the Apple Pencil on the iPad versus the Mac or the iPhone. So obviously you're gonna get all your Apple Pencil tools over on the left that you're used to. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, why would Apple make this when there's already Apple Notes and why make them two separate apps? Well, unlike Notes, you can insert shapes here. So here's a shape that I've inserted and I can actually come up here and tap on the shapes button. And there's a ton of different shapes that you can choose from. You got objects, you've got lines, there's different categories like art and education and science. And the shapes make it really easy to get ideas out of your head and explain something. But once a shape is made, it's infinitely resizable here and you can easily duplicate it if you want to. Or you can also just change its color to any other color that you might wanna use as well. Another feature here that I think is gonna see a lot of usage is the ability to add some sticky notes. So here's a sticky note that I've already made and put on the canvas here on the board. And there's a few options here. If I tap on this, I can actually come in and change the color of the sticky note. And then you'll notice if I resize the sticky note, the text size doesn't actually change. But if I make it a little bit bigger, then I can actually come in here and change the text size like this. And then of course on the sticky note, because this is the iPad, you're not just limited to using typed text. You can just write on everything in free form, which is one of the cool things about it. In fact, I can just delete all this text, come on in here and write something out like a real sticky note. Now, if you don't want the color background, you can just insert some free floating text. So that's what this is right here. And this is cool because you can actually come in and do some rich formatting. So I've actually bolded some text. I did some italicizing, I underlined, and this text actually does sort of resize based on the border. So if I grab that, it's going to scale as I move things around. But as the name implies, Freeform, there's really no limits here. It's not like a grid system that everything snaps to, although there is some alignment tools. So when you throw some images in here, you can actually write on those images. So if I wanna zoom in here, I can do that and kind of adjust the crop. And actually for any media that you do insert here, you can also come in here and double tap it to get an inline preview, which is nice as well. Then I can also insert some website links, kind of just stash and store stuff, which makes this really good for doing some research. That's one of the things I've been using this for a lot. So let's say that you are doing a research project and you wanna throw some videos in the mix here. Well, you can easily do that. You can tap on the picture icon here and insert a link, or you can just go to YouTube and grab a video link, come back to Freeform, tap anywhere and say paste, and it will go ahead and paste in that video, which you can then resize and draw on top of. So if I zoom out a little bit here, you can see I've got quite a board going here with ideas all over the place. But the main purpose of this app is to let teams collaborate. So there's FaceTime integration, there's messages integration. And I think a few of the different iPad related YouTube channels are all gonna get together and test out this collaboration feature. But basically you're gonna be able to see other people's edits show up in real time, which is really cool. Now I do wanna take just a second to acknowledge today's sponsor, Moft. You might've noticed I've got a case on this iPad here. That's the Moft Snap Case, which makes sure my Apple Pen doesn't get lost and it works perfectly with Moff's brand new snap float folio. This thing's really cool. So it's great for iPad creators who are digital nomads, who create on the go, who maybe don't wanna lug around the heavy magic keyboard all day, but you're gonna like this if you want a unique origami style stand that's number one, super adaptable. So it can float your iPad up to 3.6 inches off of a desk, which kind of gives you more of an eye level height, or you can fold it differently for a 20 degree writing or drawing angle as well. So this thing is especially great for apps like Freeform or any workflow that involves the Apple Pencil. But it's also great for those of you who just wanna use the iPad as a second screen. So I'm gonna link up the Snap Float Folio and the Snap Case down in the description so you can check those out. Now, what I really like about this app is that yes, it's useful for teams to collaborate, but it's also useful for individuals as well. Like I mentioned, it's absolutely great for doing research. So if you do like to be more organized, you can come down and hit the zoom here and say show grid. And you can notice it's got some dots here, which will let you kind of be more precise. And let's say you spent all this time making a great board here and you need to export it. You can just hit this drop down menu in the top left and export it as a PDF. But what I really like about this is it's sort of an unstructured area and I can pull together a variety of information, 
brainstorm about it. And since I've been testing this, I've kind of considered it my starting place or my starting app. Whenever I'm gonna start a project, I open up Freeform. And then eventually, after I sort of collect all the information, then I'll start putting it into an app like MindNode, where I'll start to structure it and organize it. But it's really cool here. You've got some alignment tools built in. So if I start moving things around, you'll see some lines appear that are gonna let me line these up and get them looking really nice and organized. But here's a few pro tips for you. So one of the things that's cool that you can do is you can paste in a photo. So I went out and found this photo of a basketball court. Maybe I'm coaching a team, right? And I wanna show everybody where I want them to be playing. What you can do is tap on a photo like this, hit the three dots, and then lock it. So that way, if you have people kind of writing and collaborating with you, it's not gonna get moved around. And then you can go ahead and start adding in your different shapes, right? And then everybody can be writing on this. And then there's some cool little tricks that you can do here as well. So you can grab a shape and kind of start resizing it. But if you wanna match the size to something that's already there, you can tap on it just like this and it will match the size to another object, which is pretty cool. You can also use two fingers to kind of size this in a different way, more in place. Something else is kind of fun to try is to grab an object and as you're dragging it around, just hold a finger in one of the unoccupied areas. And this is gonna activate cardinal direction. So you'll see, instead of going all over the place, it's only moving exactly in perfect lines. You can go diagonally with this as well. It's kind of like holding down the shift key when you're manipulating an object on the Mac. So Freeform obviously is gonna be very powerful, whether you are using it individually or as part of a team. How does it compare to other apps that are similar out there? You know, like Muse is a little bit different. And even though there are some similarities, you can actually put boards within boards in Muse, which is kind of a fun way to organize things. I also mentioned an app called Infinite Canvas earlier. Now that's a little different because it lets you zoom in infinitely and out infinitely. But here in Apple's app, you can actually keep expanding in any direction as long as the memory on your device can handle it. So you'll run out of memory before you'll run out of canvas space, if that makes sense. Which is to say, yeah, you can fit a lot of stuff in here, which is great. But I do like having Freeform as a new option, a new tool in the arsenal, if you will, especially with the Apple Pencil, because Apple Notes is cool as a dedicated note-taking app. You have a lot of structure, you have a powerful search, but Freeform does allow you to be a little bit messier and it doesn't make you conform to basically any particular way of putting information onto your iPad screen. So if you want to sketch stuff out, you can. If you wanna make some diagrams, you can easily do that. You know, it really is like having a whiteboard right in front of you, except it's better. So if you're a team and you're usually stuck in a conference room and there's a whiteboard there, one person can kind of be on that and control it and utilize it at a time. Well here, you park an iPad in front of everybody on the team and everybody is working at the same time on the same idea. And yeah, that really is a paradigm shift and there's not really anything that's off limits here in terms of what you can include. This is gonna become one of those defining apps for the iPad ecosystem. And if you want a good idea about how you can start using the iPad on a more professional level, I just made a video about that. I got it hooked up to Apple's studio display. All right, thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to check out our newsletter. Our podcasts both come out on Fridays. The newsletter is gonna hook you up with some great apps and accessories that you would never run into before. And then we're gonna talk about life in the Apple ecosystem on the podcast. You're gonna learn some new things there as well. So get subscribed. Don't forget to check out our wallpaper packs. We got some exclusive wallpapers there that can make your iPad look different. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.